Coming up today, we're joined by Macy. Those songs mean so much to me. We'll tell you about the new drink from Modus Brewing, and Dan will tell us where the open mics are happening this week. Produced on Awabakal and Warramai land, this is The Good Stuff, powered by BYD on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good. Good stuff. The Good Stuff. Modus Brewing is set to release a pineapple-infused tin called Modus Tepache. <laughs> Tepache. 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 It's slightly milder than kombucha and combines pineapple and cinnamon into a delicious Mexican-inspired fermented bevy. Modus Tepache will be available from the 16th of October in BWS and Dan Murphy stores. To find out more, head on over to newcastlelive.com.au. Good stuff. Local muso Macy is set to release her debut EP on the 9th of September. We're joined for a chat prior to her gig at the Ori. What kind of collection is this EP going to be for you? It is like an archived little stash of songs that Mm. I made on GarageBand on my phone in my bed. Hence, where I lay. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really cool, so actually. So, that was just during COVID when I had nothing to do. So, mm. I was just writing and writing and writing. And it was great. And I didn't really think about it either. It just it just happened, which is always really nice. So, yeah, it's just a collection of those kind of songs that I wrote all in my bed. Mm. And then took them to the studio and recorded them. Yeah? yeah. Where did you record? Um, I recorded with... James Vermeesh, he is from Sydney, great friend of mine, and yeah, just in his little home studio. Yeah, yeah, cool. So cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a lovely space. <laughs> if you had to say maybe a word or a feeling um, to describe the overarching theme of Where I Lay, what would that be? It's, it's all about like relationships. So I've kind of sequenced it out to be like, like a looping kind of EP so I would say just just all the like not really one word but like all of the emotions that you feel throughout any relationship really yeah yeah and it's kind of just like up to up to your own imagination how you kind of perceive the songs as well Mm. yeah who are some of your biggest influences ah lots of like 90s electronica I love Mm. that that's a big inspiration for this EP yeah um so like Portishead, Massive Attack and like that kind of genre. But then also lyrically like Adrian Lenka from um, Big Thief mm-hmm. and yeah, oh my God, I just, they are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Massive inspiration. <laughs> yeah. But I would say for the EP, definitely like also James Blake. Mm. Yeah. His older stuff like um, The Colour and Anything album. Mm -hmm. That is a big inspiration too, yeah. And so you've got a gig coming up. Are you going to have a full band or...? Yep, I'm going to have the whole band with me. Wow, awesome. So my partner Tristan will be on keys Mm -hmm. and um, we've got our little 404 playing all of the kind of textural stuff in the background and the harmonies and everything. Cool. And then Noah Curry on drums, Mm. Ben Grigg on guitar and... John Wallace on bass. What yeah. a lineup! That's sick. Yeah, they are all like insane musicians. And yeah. we had our f- first gig together last week, mm. like first like live gig, and that was Noah's first time ever playing on the drums in like no in way. front of an audience. <laughs> and Ben's first ever gig, which he didn't tell me until afterwards, and I was like, "What the hell?" Like That's they just amazing. did so amazing. Like yeah, yeah, every, yeah. everyone. Everyone did so good. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, what a way to kick off, you know, playing yeah, live. Hey? I know. I know. It's so good. Yeah. How do you go about mixing in those, you know, the 404 and the pre-recorded so, loops and stuff like that? And what kind of impact do you think it makes, you know, adding in those sounds rather than just relying on yeah, live instruments? It, it, it changes the sound from – it's it's a little bit more rich, yeah. I feel like, which I really like and – it keeps like the elements of my songs so that like when you listen to them that they sound like more similar to like when you see it live which Mm. I like yeah 
So once the EP's out, are you planning to tour or what's the next step for you? Um, I've got a few gigs in place, but I think the next step is to just give myself some space and keep writing. I've, I think what's next is going to be um, a really big album. Right, um, okay. Like a folky, acoustic kind of album. I have about... 13 songs at the moment. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know if they're all going to go on there, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, but right now I'm thinking that they would all just be really stripped back and, mm. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to hear oh, that. I'm so excited for it. Yeah. Like, those songs mean so much to me. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to share them with everyone. Yeah. And have you found it overwhelming finally getting this EP out? Like when you say yeah. that you've got to get some space? Yeah, like... I mean, working full-time, I'm sure so many people, mm. like, are the same, like, full-time work and then study and then trying to do music at the same time. It's yeah. crazy, but it's so good because I have this routine mm. and it's, I, I love that. <laughs> Got to have a routine. But I'm excited to just step back and just let, let everyone hear what I have, what I've put together. Yeah. That's going to be the best part, I think. Well, Macy, thank you so much for Thanks spending for some time me. with us. Yes, and um, get on to that pre-save game. Yes, pre-save, guys. <laughs> Links in my bio. This is work. So good. Uh, good stuff. You know what time it is? It's time for open mic night. Tonight, you can head over to Stockton Bolo for their music open mic. And if you've got a few jokes you want to try out, head to the Newcastle Comedy Club. It's open decks at the Lass on Wednesday night. And Madawi Social have got an open mic happening on Thursday. To see the full gig and event guide, head to newcastlelive.com.au. After Dark. Every Tuesday evening, we rip open the cover of the sealed section and delve deep. But fair warning, this is adults only. It's After Dark with Louise Wilkinson from 5pm every Tuesday night. Brought to you by Flirt Adult Store Hamilton. The good stuff. That's it for the good stuff today. I'd love to say a big thank you to Macy for joining us. Be sure to hit the live stream or our Newcastle Live Podcast Network to hear the spiciest podcast from Newey, After Dark, by Louise Wilkinson. Thanks heaps for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow from 4pm for more of the good stuff. <laughs>